The two most commonly used osmotic laxatives are magnesium citrate and laxulose. We'll get a much more precise picture of osmosis and osmotic laxatives in a moment, but for right now you can simplistically picture the osmotic laxatives as basically pulling water into the lumen of the intestines. And of course, the more water there is in the intestines, as the contents mixes, the less of a chance there is for constipation. So what do we mean by an osmotic action? You may recall that cell membranes have what we call a semi-permeable membrane. So in other words, our cells allow certain substances through the membrane but do not allow other substances across that membrane. Osmotically active particles are not allowed from one side to the other. And that presents a problem when there are more osmotically active particles on one side in comparison to the other, because we always aim to establish an equilibrium. We need the same number of osmotically active particles per milliliter of fluid on this side as compared to the number of osmotically active particles per milliliter on this side. Since the particles cannot freely move from one side to the other, the fluid has to. So the fluid moves to the side with the greatest number of osmotically active particles. So in applying this to the GIT, when a person takes an osmotic laxative, the particles in the lumen of the GIT will result in fluid moving into the lumen of the gastrointestinal tract. It must be emphasized that osmotic laxatives are contraindicated in intestinal obstruction. Think about what would happen in an obstruction. Fluid would build up before the obstruction, and that could potentially result in serious consequences, including an intestinal rupture, hospitalization, and death. Oral lactulose is a sugar, and it's not well absorbed. It's really, really sweet, and it's not tolerated very well. So some people prefer to take it along with water, fruit juice, or milk. With respect to the magnesium citrate or magnesium hydroxide laxatives, you'll remember that those were included in our discussions about antacids. Milk of magnesia is magnesium citrate. In the stomach, the magnesium citrate and the hydrochloric acid are involved in a chemical action that neutralizes the acid and makes the magnesium chloride. That molecule is osmotically active, and you can basically think of that as pretty much pooling water into the intestines. Osmotic laxatives generally demonstrate a linear dose response. And what does a linear dose response mean in pharmacology? Well, it simply means that if you took a graph of the amount of laxatives versus the effect, the more you take, the greater the effect. So if the effect of a dose was not quite enough, the person knows to simply take more of the medication the next time. But this can be quite dangerous. What could happen if a person took too much of the osmotic laxatives? If the person had a very large dose of osmotic laxative, but not enough fluids in their system, they could wind up being dehydrated. And as you think of the treatment of constipation, always think water, water, water. The consumption of water needs to be increased regardless of whether the person is using the water as the primary therapy or as an addition to any other treatment for constipation. 
And as we are talking about medications that exhibit a linear dose response, it's really important that we apply that to other medications because osmotic laxatives are one of the few medications that develop a linear dose response. Most medications demonstrate this type of response where the maximum response is obtained not much over the recommended dose. So very simplistically speaking, it is not always the case that the more you take, the more of the therapeutic effect will be seen. For instance, if you took paracetamol or sometimes called acetaminophen, like Tylenol for pain, the maximum effect for that painkiller would be achieved in just a little over the standard dose. So if you took more of that same painkiller, you would just wind up with significantly more toxicity to the liver. No more pain relief, just more side effects. Paracetamol or acetaminophen toxicity is extremely common. And one of the reasons is because of that very fact. Some people assume that the more you take, the greater the effect.